Hello, I'm old Mr. Kent, and uh, I'm 82 years old, and I've been riding around on my e-trike uh, almost every morning, uh, making a video of the history of my life. <laughs> and uh, I uh, am now at the point <clears throat> where I should figure it out mathematically. Anyway, between uh, 2005 and 2010, where we were living in Spokane, uh, and uh, in in town, we, soon, in not too long from this video, we're going to move out uh, in more of a rural area. Well, oops. Oh, that was a nice bump. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Anyway, um, so that's why I am. And uh, uh, I, my, in my last video, my wife and I had just almost killed ourselves <laughs> uh, going in, uh, on a trip in the in the Hell's Canyon. So uh, now let's uh, back up a little ways and let me let me set you up for this story. Uh, I had I had I was riding a 1981 Harley Davidson uh, Road Glide, a Road King, and um, uh, I I hung out with the Patriot Guard, and I was at some kind of a gathering. I don't remember what it was, but I was sitting by a curb with my engine running, ready to go, and uh, this guy came up and he said, "Wow, that is a really smooth running engine." Well, what he see, he was used to seeing all the new bikes that had rubber mounted engines. And so when they would sit and idle, that engine would just, you know, kind of rock in the in the rubber mount a little bit back and forth. It was a school bus. What's the school bus doing? <laughs> Practicing anyway, because um, this is summertime. So. uh yeah, so that was what he was used to seeing. Well, my engine wasn't wasn't uh, moving around in rubber mounts because back in 1981, the engines were uh, hard mounted to the frame, <laughs> and so all the vibration came into the frame and then into your body, and so if you rode and rode and rode for a long time, uh, it's like you got a massage. I know one time we were. We rode over to the ocean with a group of people, and they were riding um, oh Yamahas and things like that. And we stayed at a at a motel, and uh, in the, when we gathered in the evening uh, at the bakery to have a snack, they was talking about how how nice that bed was. You put a quarter in it, and it would vibrate and just soothe your body. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so when I got back, you know, I. I crawled on the bed, put a quarter in. It felt just like riding a Harley. <laughs> I'd been being vibrated all day long. So anyway, um, uh, that that's the way it was. And so if you went for a Harley ride, you just knew it was going to be, you were going to get, you know, vibrated a lot. Okay, so now that's all, that sets you up. Uh, we had, my wife and I had... Um, owned several campers that you put in the back of a pickup truck. I don't know, not several, but two or three. And for one reason or another, got rid of them. And so we didn't have a camper at, at this point in time. And part of the reason was because I sold my uh, 69 Chevy pickup in order to buy a 1963 uh, VW Combi bus. And so that was my pickup truck. And it was a, I really liked that vehicle. I should have hung on to it. They were worth lots of money after I sold mine. Anyway, so, uh, uh, where was I? Okay, so anyway, so that's all I had. And we got, we got to thinking, you know, my wife loves to go to the ocean. She always likes going, if we're going to go somewhere, she wants to go to the ocean, which is fine because I like the ocean too. And so, uh, so we, we shopped around and we found this uh, nice uh, motor home, uh, RV or whatever you want to call it, that uh, was, uh, well, it was a nice buy, a good buy. And uh, I got some pictures of, of it. Uh, I think I can find the ones on the inside. 
Uh, so it was just was a nice one, and we didn't have to pay too much for it. And so, so we bought that. So then um, that's what, when we would want to go to the ocean, that's what we would, uh, we would ride in. And so, <laughs> and so this one time, when now her son from her first marriage, he was into Harleys, really into Harleys. And uh, in fact, he worked at the Harley shop part-time. In fact, right now, he's still doing delivery for him uh, for the Harley, Harley shop in Kennewick, Washington. And so, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got to go up a hill here. <laughs> and so uh, he still works for him and uh, does deliveries and so forth. And so, um, good morning. How are you doing? Good, thank you. And so uh, he, uh, he had this really nice Harley and uh, heavy duty, you know, everything on it tour pack, the whole business, and uh, we'll go down this curb here. And so, uh, and we went over to the ocean, and he also uh, went at the same time and met us over there, and we went to, it's called Beach Side. I'll see if I can get some pictures of it. Uh, it's a really nice campground because you're camping right next to the beach, and that's, you know, <laughs> most of the other campground... <clears throat> this is along the Oregon coast, by the way. Uh, most of the other campgrounds, you got to walk a quarter of a mile to get to the beach, or something like that. Well, here, uh, with some of the with some of the uh, camping sites, uh, you could just go out your door and walk about, oh, I don't know, 100 feet, and you'd be on the beach. And so. Um, my wife really liked to go there. First time we went there, uh, you would just pick where you want to uh, camp and then and, and check in with the camping host or whatever they called them back then. And uh, but as time went by, that that became impossible because it was because it was such a nice campground that now if you were to go, you'd have to make uh, uh, reservations. Uh, real early in the year. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it was a really nice campground. So we met there. Now he had a, a toy hauler, which is a trailer that you'll pull behind your heavy duty pickup and you can camp in it, but also the back end folds down and you can put your motorcycle in there. And so you carry your motorcycle uh, with you. And then when you get to where you want to go, then if you want to ride around, ride around a little bit, you get on your bike. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, so he had a, a toy hauler, and uh, so we were camping, and and we watched him unload it out of his toy hauler and stuff like that because we got there first. And I'm gonna go across the street here, hopefully not get run over. Um, and so, uh, he, he had his toy hauler and uh, unloaded it, and then after a day or so of camping or maybe the next day or something, because uh, he was pretty proud of it. And he asked his mom, he said, you want to go for a ride? Because she's used to motorcycles. And uh, he had extra helmets and everything. And so I let this guy go. Uh, and so uh, she said, oh, okay. So uh, they, they went for a ride. And it seemed like they were never going to come back. <laughs> they were gone a long time. And so finally, they come back. And that was the first time that my wife had ever ridden on anything besides the 1981 Harley. But had a, a firmly mounted uh, engine was mounted to the frame. So she got on one for this ride. And it was so smooth that she couldn't believe it was a Harley-Davidson. And so, um, so anyway, she came back and she was all like, that is really nice. That's much nicer than ours. <laughs> well, make a long story short, uh, what she decided when, after we got home is with, and we had some financial things happening so that we could actually, it was not normal, it was kind of, <laughs> 
uh, different than usual, but we had some financial ability to go buy a brand new Harley with <laughs> with rubber mounted engine. <laughs> and so uh, so we went, we bought a Harley, and the thing is, is uh, that was just before that Harley shop, which was in Spokane, uh, was closed down because of of the the way they were running their business, and so because uh, it well to give you an example, I bought the bike, but I wasn't able to get it. It was there, but I couldn't get it and take it home for oh, I don't know uh, I don't know let's say three or four weeks, and uh, so <laughs> uh, it was very frustrating. In fact, by the time uh, I got the bike and I rode it home, and that evening it started to snow. <laughs> That's the story of my life, right? <laughs> and so I had it in the in my uh, shop. Um, it was an old garage. I had it in there with my old Harley. So I had two Harleys in there, but I couldn't ride them. And then it, that opened up onto onto a um, dirt alley. And so, um, uh, you know, you could go out in the alley. So I took a picture of it, uh, and I've got that picture somewhere. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so I took a picture of it sitting by, that, by the fence across the alley. And uh, <laughs> the day I took that picture, I was still waiting to be able to write it. So anyway, as time went by... Um, I was able to, uh, the weather started to clear, and so I got to take my, uh, I don't remember what year it was, but it was brand new. Had to be uh, like uh, 2007, 2008, something like that. So uh, <clears throat> I, got, I got to go for a ride on it uh, eventually, after the snow started to melt. And so, um, so anyway, had myself a... A uh, brand new Harley. Now, so the the Harley that the the 1981 Harley, m my son that I bought it from, uh, or traded my airplane for, he had it all set up for for a sporty type, you know, like the like a lot of the guys do, it extended forks and stripped down and just every. Well, I didn't extend the forks, but I uh, uh, took everything off, took off, took the uh, the tour pack off, and uh, I don't remember what I did. But anyway, I I, I made it much lighter and uh, much more sporty looking, I guess you'd say. And so I had two bikes. <laughs> I had a 1981 Harley, and I think it was a, it was probably a. a 1997 Harley. So I had two bikes, two Harleys, and uh, that you know what more could a guy ask for? <laughs> so uh, that that was my my brand new Harley that I finally got, and it had the rubber mounted engines. So I'm going to close down now because I'm getting close to uh, 15 minutes, and I like to keep them within well within 15 to 20 minutes. And so I'll close down now. And then the next video, I think is the next video coming, is we're going to move. So stay tuned. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching my videos. And God bless.